All right, welcome to my personal build MPP. So um, I wanted people to see uh, there's a couple interested parties. This is my personal build. Um, like I say, I like starting from the top. Uh, this is an MPP 2.0 from Corvianth. Um, it's got pretty much the typical upgrades. KR Saber's retention screw because the one that comes with it is too short. Um, the wires, wire upgrade. I put on the micro flash to give it a little bit more of that vintage look. It also has the bubble strip and circuit card back. So kind of a double thing. It makes it a little bit, the aux button is behind there. Um, primary ignition button, aux is over here. Um, because of the double card, it makes it a little bit hard to press. Um, if I had to do it again, I'd probably put the aux button up here, but uh, it is what it is. This is a 7 8 inch blade, um, and we'll, we'll power it on here. This is a brightly lit room, um, and you'll see how bright it is. Remove the chassis, or remove the pommel, I should say. Reveals a Goth Master Chassis with metal 3D printed parts. And so just a beautiful, and of course some painting upgrades. Uh, this has a Spark Color 2, and a Spark Color 2 soundboard in it. So RGB, NEC Spark Color 2. Um, we've got a number of uh, um, fonts in here. It does. This does have the uh, bass speaker in it, two watt bass speaker. It's loud as heck because the bass speaker uh, is in the bottom. Kill key in the bottom. Kill key in charging. Three point seven volts. Boot it up. Blade plug. It's got about, I think, six fonts on it. V2. V2. Essence. This also has the twist RGB color change. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put in the blade. I've got a little display blade here, so it's a little bit shorter, so we can actually see it. But it's bright as heck, as you can see. This is actually an orange blade. This does have the ability to switch colors. If I can get it right here. That's a swing. I gotta get the twist right here. Come on. There we go. Changes color. And rotate through some of the colors. Blue, light green. You see the crystal changing. An orange. Light blue. Dark, uh, a more true blue, light green, oh. red, and of course is extremely loud when you put the, uh, oh and there's accent LEDs, I don't know if you saw them, there's one here, Let's see if you can get it, there's one in the base. Very responsive swing. Let's get something a little bit more Vader-ish.
put the bottom of the uh, hilt on here. You can hear how it sounds. A little bit bassier with the bottom on because it gives it the... the uh, tube to reverberate in the bottom of the hilt there. This also has blaster block and a blaster uh, blade lockup. So th those are the standard features. Like I say, the aux switch is underneath the hitting the top bubble is your best bet. Is what I found out. Press and hold does the aux, the blade lockup. And we got somebody calling me. I'm going to ignore that. And uh, that's it. Got a stand here. 7 8 blade. Again, some of the specs. 7 8 blade. 7 8 blade. Um, MPP 2.0. Goth Master Chassis with metal prints. Um, and that's my MPP personal build. Um, if you're interested, look me up on Etsy, mksabers.com. Till next time.